Hi, my name is Dustin Tank, and this is my story. At a young age, I was raised up in church, and my dad was a Sunday school teacher. As I grew older, I really was an outcast. About the age of uh, 16, I started drinking and popping pills. Well, that progressed when I was about 17. I tried meth for the first time. And I really didn't know what it was when I tried it, but I liked it. And when I was about 18, I was a full-blown addict. I was using every day, had no regard for myself or anybody around me. When I finished high school, I had an option to go to college, but I turned it down because I thought drugs were more important. Like a demon was inside of me, and I knew that he was in control, and I had no choice but to listen to him or I was going to die. On Mother's Day, my mom was cleaning my room. She found a rig and a spoon and an empty bag in my room. I got home later that night. My dad confronted me about it. You know, my mom said that she wished she, it would have been a snake that bit her. You know, just struggling, skin and bones, depressed, suicidal thoughts. The only two people in my life that stay consistent was my two parents. And that sent me down a darker path and I was selling everything I had. I had nothing. That same year, I called my dad one night after I tried to overdose, asking him to beg him, Dad, take me to rehab. I-58 Farms, they said, yes, please calm down. We'll, we're ready for you. I've worked for this past nine months building my relationship with God. Now I have a personal relationship with him here at I-58. They gave me a job down here. I build trusses. I work on the farm. I, we do blackberries. I take guys to work every day. I make sure guys get doctor's appointments. The scripture that spoke to me the most when I first got here within my first week was James 4, 13 through 15. Instead, you are to say, if it's the Lord's will, let it be done. That's something I've went against my whole life. I, I didn't know what was missing in my life. I, I was always seeking something, but never could find it. I was searching everywhere but the right places. And when I gave up everything and decided to get on my knees, so I say to you, if it's the Lord's will, let it be done.